<sighs> Fortunately, I do got to take the antenna down to symbolize what I'm saying, but you know. What can I do about that? I'm a man of my word. I don't want to see no smoke. Unless I get that order beforehand. <laughs> you think I'm beating that to the point? <laughs> now he's scared shit right now. He looking over his shoulder every which way. He's scared than he's ever been. Trying not to show it. But see, I can read voices through voice changes. Anything they were trying to hide with them, forget about it. Our buddy Richie haven't been on the airways since Friday, I think. That's right. TGIF. So I'm telling you. Who gives a fuck? She came up, he got his um, wish. Uh, his wish must be changed through about where she's getting put out. I know he's happy. He want to party. He want to celebrate. He want to shoot his gun. Oh, I wish I could catch him with a gun in this fucking hand. I wish he would. <laughs> this guy, Nitro, came out one day. And he said, um, CK. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry for Richie. You know, he could got his act together. There are always places that he can go. Uh, like rehab and this and that. And he didn't need no, he didn't need all that, Richie. He didn't need all that. He know he could have gone there, but, um, he's played the game smart. He's smart. And just go sit back to where you ever... Whoever well, gave you the place where you, well, you got to rent the place from, I'm going to go back to the place person. And I helped him a lot of times. I gave him a number. Let's go to the real estate over there on Scoop Avenue and Fulton Street. This is a real estate right there in McDonald's. And they give you, you find a room, a kitchen, that, whatever you can afford. You can find, you'll get a team. And one day, one day you'll have your, your place. And everything like that. From 613, you say a prayer, bow your head and say a prayer. I said, oh, Lord, I hope, 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 I hope Richie be all right. I hope, I hope he don't kill himself and die from this TV suicide. <laughs> impossible. Um, <laughs> For God, everything's up, possible, but that's I impossible. <laughs> he's just detaining. Who is he's just detaining? He's a fucking clown. Yeah, I, I, I can take anything that he throws at me. I can take it. <laughs> I'm old enough, man. And you get old like me, you gotta know how to taste shit. You know, here you get nailed to the cross. <laughs> they do you cheat. And then, then TK do you like a lot of us. I haven't got done too. I can't say much. I got done. He nailed me to the cross and tied me down like a lot of us. Remember the story of Gulliver, the big giant, they tied him down and everything? <laughs> What's this guy? He got to eat shit. That thing, he has the issues. He got motherfucking issues. I don't care what he got, the family, the house, car, and all that. That's on, that's on the revenue. So she want to kill every fucking body. <laughs> I was worried about Richie killing the army and cops. That's 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 in his fucking mind. That's a new shit. So when you got that, you know you smart, you well fucking educated, and you come out here with some raggedy old bullshit. Fuck your mother. I uh, hope your mother dies. You motherfucking bitch. You just you cat. You 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 got issues, boy. Hey. hey. 613, you got motherfucking real motherfucking issues. I, I ain't like my motherfucking tongue. I don't give a fuck. You sure enough got fucking issues. So they talking. And on my turn, he went cool like a fucking man, like a, a Spanish. You know, he wasn't like, like nice. He was smooth. He, he, didn't, he didn't put in 
to see Kenny that, that morning that was talking. He didn't blend this to him. He said, I wish the man the best. The white to work for a hospital. You know and I know that if you got a problem, you can call 311 or 411 and uh, they'll seek your help. <clears throat> You're not going to, the, 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 the city's not going to throw your shit in the street. You had enough time to move. And he got a, what you call him anyway, he got a, what you call him, storage place or bin. He could always just take everything to the bin, put everything in that motherfucking bin. And if you got to stay in the shelter, fuck it. You get in the shelter before one guy, man, we one month in the fucking shelter. And you get your fucking check that, that, that next month. Shit, you got that, you motherfucking out of ease. So you back, you back on top of the world again. But just don't let yourself go. You let yourself go, man, you fucking weak. Yeah, I'm a motherfucking survivor. I ain't been this goddamn hell. This is hell right here. Hey, 613, this is hell. If you let it be, you let yourself go, you're in hell. But if you got man live your life to the motherfucking fullest till you get sick and die, and then you have lived your good life in heaven. This is heaven. There's nothing up there where you're going. 613. And when I die, 613, you don't think I'm out of here. I can't even have family here, but you know, I'm going to die. They're going to put me over there in New Jersey. You ever heard of Pottersville? That's what they put people that's got no, no trouble. No family, no somebody that loves them. No family. They put you up there and in New Jersey and in the mold, they're calling it the mold rats. The little, the little big, big, big rats. They big like cats. They eat you all up. And uh, six months, your body is none, no more dead, tyrannated, old, all these, all these bones. But the mold rats and the maggots, the ants, and everything, they'll uh, uh, eat you up. They yummy, yummy, oh, how good you are. How sweet it is. <laughs> Hey, 613, right? Because God knows what you fucking make it. You live by the motherfucking sword, you die by that motherfucker. Well, sometimes it just hurt me the way the guy talked to you. No respect. Hey, this is how this guy has no respect for nobody. And when they call him out to fight, he will talk. When they call him out to fucking fight, that's when you show your fucking manhood. You're a fucking goddamn pussy. He's a cupcake. You won't come the fuck out and face man to man fucking contact for all behind that fucking microphone. You're a fucking goddamn killer and a motherfucking gangster. So I sit there and I hear you say, come on out. I'm not even little, but I'm not fucking scared. You're not even men in that seat. Be like that fella. Okay? He, he's telling that that's why, yo, I said, I don't think I'm there, I bring up my brother, you fucking money coat. You talk about my, my, my mommy, my mommy and my papi and my damn children, come outside. You want to be a tough guy, come outside, I'll show you. I'll show you what my, my goddamn mother and my daddy gave, made, made of me. That girl say hombre, no thing I'm there, no say chocha, no pussy. <laughs> hey, say certain things. You gotta, you gotta lay, you gotta lay your motherfucking cars down. <laughs> now, 613, he cursed me out, talking about my house, my apartment. But I got a fucking roof over there. I don't give a fuck what that goddamn motherfucker said. I got a fucking roof over my head. I can come in this motherfucker, I can shit in the middle of the fucking floor. I got a fucking roof over my head. I got a place where I can lay my motherfucking head. And any black man... In a state of mind like me, Chip 13, let me say, God bless Dr. Love, I'm, God bless you. I feel the same way, Dr. Love. They got homeless people out there and the miners that would sure like to have you guys in my pocket. No matter what you got laying around, what that you got on the front of the city, they would like to have it because they could look out the window, they could sit, they could shower, they could bathe. Well, I'm going upstairs to get something to eat. Don't even play with the negativity, no fucking mind. Cause that negativity shit is bullshit. Okay? I don't hate this fucking white man. I don't know this fucking white man. I've never seen the white man. And a lot of people are like, Neither did 206 or the other couple of guys. 
that first Richie got a lot of size, 613. Fuck him. Okay, I love you to death, Doc. You can say anything you want about me, I will never be mad at you. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> In my mind, it's Leroy. You hear me say Leroy? That's Leroy. That's the guy inside of me. He makes my day, day in and day out. I believe in him. Uh, God, God is ridiculous. He's dead. He's a dead man. The very he's dead. I'm not bowing. I don't bow down to no man, no woman. I don't bow down. They're the warning. The warning for not the age. Hey, 613, you habla with me, I habla with you. You habla with me, I habla with you. Okay? You want to say, mi mamá, uh, mi mamá, no me gusta yo, uh, your motherfucking mother's every motherfucker like you, and your mother's a fucking pussy, your mother's a fucking hero, your mother's a suck dick. All that bullshit is really ridiculous. Don't, 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 it's, it's a cabinet that be. It don't fit with me. In my mind, we want to say, ah, we don't worry about that, Eric. We don't know about that. <laughs> it's a fuck Mama had eight kids. She could have had eight, nine, ten. She could have had ten. Yeah. <laughs> and all the all the all the men in the family, they're all fucking men. No no faggots of the boys. There's no bushes of, the, of my sisters. No no none of that bullshit. All men all got kids. And all the goddamn boys is not afraid of a big guy that stands six feet tall, two hundred fucking pounds. Not scared. You know why? Cause you wanna be bad. They got guns for bad motherfuckers. They got guns. Now you see the gang kill the gang, and they kill the Spanish guy in the store. That was called all that shit. They were gang shit. Okay, that was all goddamn. And they all pay the price. They all pay the price for killing that goddamn Spanish kid. And then they're not all fucking beat up when they go to court. They they clean. They look at the Spanish guys in court. Clean. Everybody like looking up on their ass and getting from home to go to court. They got black eyes. They fucking all bust up in the eyes. These motherfuckers are clean. Because they don't get that man 10 years. They come out and sit back in the streets again with their families. They got families. The families support them. So they're back in the street again. Then they start their life on over. You know? This guy's been to jail. Richie's been to jail. This guy's probably about 535. Seven nine been in jail. He lives in Jersey. He's not a guy. He's like Dr. Lowe. I like you too, but talk to you like to talk to you to keep you out of trouble. And they say, yeah, they fuck with me. And yeah, that's the gang, man. They try to goddamn draft you back back in, you back out of jail. Get your goddamn, get your girlfriend and move the fuck out. And he moved. He moved down south. Changed his life around. He got a job, got a thing of follow, and everything like that. That's when you know that you're blessed. When you're blessed and you're not stressed, it's a good thing in life. This is 613. When you're blessed and you're not stressed. I'm not stressed about a motherfucking thing. I don't give a shit. Anybody in the building, anybody on the fucking outside, motherfucker, you go step to me, you better step motherfucking right, because I ain't going to be motherfucking afraid. I ain't gonna die mad and scared. No fear in your motherfucking heart. You just change your district. My heart don't pump no motherfucking Kool Aid, Poppy. You say that's by you, you say that's by you too. You want to have a man that can draw? Don't want to have a man that can see. Man, I'm not. Like, hey, hey, hey. Put your hands up in the air. Just like you don't care. That's what you do. Talk to them nasty. You know, I used to beat up one bad boy. I know you got to go on. I used to beat up one bad boy. Make like a man get him all up, get him all up, fucking sweat, so he want to beat me, beat me up. And then he said, come on down over here in my hand. 
Yeah. So you look like I come there, motherfucker. I come there. I got a lot of ass for you got a you got his hair going down the going down the back, no hair on the side. Uh, like that. I forgot what you call it. I'm a Mahigan. He got like a Mahigan haircut. That's okay. I'll be there, punk. On the weekend. I heard him the next next day. What happened, motherfucker? I was there, punk. What happened? Fucking jazz ass motherfucker. You think I'm fucking scared because I'm old? The same thing with the 911. Bad. 911. 911. No, bad boy. This bad boy. 911. That cat over here, the Spanish guy. You know, sometimes his microphone to act up, his radio act up. This guy put a lot of things on me on, on the fucking YouTube. He couldn't take the pressure of Dr. Love beating, beating up on him and everything like that. He can't take the pressure. He used to tell about I had a diaper. Uh, I had a diaper on. I had a home attendant. Oh man, this fucking guy then my 911, boy, he, he really fucking irritated. All the shit that he did and put all that video up, shit up there on Eric Allen, Dr. Love, he put my name, she can't call my first name, my last name. Tell everybody my motherfucking address, he called Chicken Low. I want to talk to Dr. Love. I want to talk to Dr. Love. People don't call us and don't, I don't want to talk to that man, I don't know that man. And he called, this, this is the bad part, what he called Brown Horn and called my house. I said, what you want, Brown Horn? And he died. He said, Dr. Love, ain't nobody died. She came with your phone number. Brown Horn, you know, you disrespect me just now. You really disrespect me, Brown Horn. Don't ever call my house for no bullshit. I respect you. I don't call you for no bullshit, Brown Horn. Man, the motherfucker man. Man, don't ever call my house for no bullshit. I don't call you for no bullshit, Brown Horn. Man, the motherfucking man, don't give my number to no goddamn CK. I don't know that damn man, and I have no relations with that man, like the president said. What the president said. Hey, right, listen up. To all my cops that will be standing when this is over, I want you to realize something. It's not going to take long for the public to realize, hey, all these faces I'm seeing, we know these are good cops, not the scumbags. Okay? I want you to know that. Okay? And second and foremost, and the most important part is, you a cop? You carry eight days a week, 32 hours a day. Ain't nobody gonna make you motherfuckers sit in ducks with no defense. I never knew about it. You know, Brown Hardy used to tell me what she ate and um, got up to a Dr. Love on YouTube with a, with a bunch of shit going on her head and in the corner and a fucking jackass or dummy. I said, Brown Horner, I don't really give a fuck. Brown Horner, well, I could give a fuck what they put up here, man. You, you, you might sound fucking funny to your black ass, but I don't really give a fuck what's up there. As I go see it, I wouldn't give a fuck what's up here. That's the bullshit they try to put me, put me down, stab me in the motherfucking back, take away my pride and my potential and all the stuff that I got. So this guy 911 got all oh, that motherfucking shit. I grew up here, man. He got all rap. Huh? He got, he got, he got a skeleton. He got skin clothes. He got, he got everything. And he got my name, Eric. And this, this guy Dr. Love. He got all that shit. 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 Look at this Spanish little guy over here. Look at this motherfucking Chico. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker up here. They have no respect for the guy named Milano, the nigga they beat the one that in Brooklyn. So, I sit there and now, 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 this is not all of them now. This is... There's only two of them that, that do Dr. Love like that. It, that's just like a sweet K and that 911. Not bad boy. Bad boy is cool. I respect bad boy. I just fuck with him. If Brown want to know, the Brown want to come out and say, Hey, baby, the bad boy. Dr. Love, let me not out here, man. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm listening to Brown Horn and I'm not cheating up. 
sometimes you gotta know when to shut the fuck up. So, I, I let I let that boy talk. I know I'm talking in the morning when he comes out here talking to CK. And um, he, he don't talk about Richie. He, he don't talk about the family, you know, you know. And the wife, the wife, me and we, we got married, and it was my anniversary. I took my wife to Puerto Rico. We went to on um, the North Pole, and we went to we went to Great Adventure. We went to Atlantic City. Nah, nothing, nah, nothing, nah, 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 nah. That boy did not come out here and conversate with CK about the goddamn family or anything. The light show said. CK said, hey man, did you get my, 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 my phone call? Did you get my text? And he goes, well, that guy, I like that Spanish guy, Nitro. He said, hey, look, when I'm at work, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't play with my phone when I'm at work. I got a serious job. I ain't got time for no bullshit text messages. I'm back here fucking listening. <laughs> now this guy's hurting. This hurting CK on his side because Nitro's not going against the fucking Nitro's going against the fucking brain. He's not he not bowing down to that bullshit this morning. He, he must have got baptized last night. He's born again, born again, expire your knees and let us put a teacher. Born again. <laughs> what again? <laughs> and they all cool. <laughs> I'm back here sweating. So he might get a CK what he wants about Richie. Yeah, fuck that fucking white boy. I hope he fucking die. Let him go to the fucking shelter and fucking die. Let that motherfucker crack a kill you, motherfucker, so fuck him after what he put me to out here on this goddamn sleep, please. <laughs> no, no, hold on, no. hold on. They started with me, remember? No, no, no. He did not say nothing about his mother. Uh, let him go back home to his mother or uh, nothing. Michael did not do that, man, and I was amazed how that tough fucking man stood up like a fucking man. And I was saying, I'm funny, I said, Michael, stop going against Richie and want to beat Richie up. Leave this bullshit TV shit behind, man. You got a fucking wife, kids, and every goddamn thing. You got cars, she got cars. Hey, oh, his wife's going to love me after this, trust me. Let him say what he wants. Take it like a fucking man. Learn to be a fucking man and, and take criticism. Take it easy, Nitro. It's not that motherfucking serious. Don't come to Brooklyn and get yourself in trouble. You lose your goddamn job. You lose your, your, your manhood. You lose... <laughs> you look like it's a manhood. <laughs> you might take away your mojo. And you go to jail and prison. Not sure I'm fooling, because you might kill that motherfucking place. <laughs> he, he, he's a fool. He might kill him. <laughs> but, uh, I'm trying to be nice to the mind on one thing. I'm trying to be nice to the judge. But yo, man, you're, you're ready with acting up, man. You know, sound. I can't understand the shit you're saying. It's not, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh
The cupcakes don't remember any of those facts. He's scared. He's scared now. Donald Trump want to get in that motherfucking ass. He think he's talking to a black motherfucking nigga that's a fucking pussy coming out of that Brooklyn. Okay? So I know John Trump mean what he fucking mean, but he did to a motherfucking whistle before I'm fucking with him. He went back to Snake the second time the guy came fucking with me. Fuck this motherfucking ass. Now, yo, check this out, guys. When you listen to some of this shit Dr. Love is stating, this shit is from years ago, five, six, seven years ago. So let me tell you something. Is the man astute? Is he senile yet? <laughs> you see what I do to him. <laughs> and you just wonder why. The hole in the wall, non Brooklyn, Brooklyn, full control. Ah, let me that motherfucker pull us out. He's a fucking girl watcher. And, and fucking kid, they, 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 they from the, they from the military, they been in the army. He used to come and fuck with those goddamn black brothers. So he, he thinks that nigga is a fucking pussy. That's what he thinks. So they call him out. They say, look, I come to where the fuck you at. You, I'm not fucking scared, motherfucker. I've been in the motherfucker army. I've been in the military. I'm not scared. He pulls out. He went back under the fucking bed, he hides. Then everybody called that motherfucker out. There's another guy come out of New Jersey to talk about safety. He said, yeah, fuck you, your mother, motherfucker. Fuck you, fuck my dick. I'll come, I'll come put my foot in your motherfucker there. I don't give a fuck how big you are. It'd be your ass or my ass. I ain't fucking scared. You ain't got no motherfucking punk ass motherfucker here. I'm no fucking crackhead. I ain't no motherfucking alcoholic that you beat up off of where you live at. I'm the real motherfucking deal. And he punked out, he punked out the fucking kid. They punk out. You know? It's these guys. This is that 911, this is 911 cat. Another one. Punk out. They come with that man, kick his ass. He fucking push me, punk the fuck out. Then he talking shit to me and uh, and and I said, yo, man, you can get my ass any time you want, 911, okay? I'm older than you, okay? Way older than you and everything like that. Nothing smart. Okay, fuck all that motherfucking diaper shit. You can like a motherfucking diaper. Let you motherfucking do it. You're on your goddamn CEO. Come over here and change my motherfucking diaper, bitch. Well, you ain't got that kick my ass. Come to fucking 849. The 8 motherfucking 849. Nitro, Nitro, the good guy. Nitro wanna, Nitro don't wanna see no fight. But they talk about I would, I would never bring 911 to your goddamn place. Nah, not like that, Doctor Love. I'm, I'm a clear guy and everything like that. You can, you can come up here to the barbecue one day, Doctor. We have a barbecue. Come on, you welcome to come and stuff like that. Sir. But I'm not bringing 911 over there. He's he, he nice and smart. Nice and very smart. You know what I'm saying? That fuck over here, he'll get fucked up. He'll get really fucked up. I don't give a fuck how big he is. Oh, come on, big fucking Puerto Rican in the building that's trying to fuck with me. And I say, you can't keep on fucking around, but you put your hands on me, you're going to be some motherfucking shit. I have to call my brother in law. My, my brother-in-law, my, you know, one of my cousins, my cousins, any damn body in my family. So you know what, man, I need a gun. <laughs> I got some Puerto Rican out here that sat in there trying to kick my ass. He <laughs> said, let this show bring it to me. Let this show fucking bring it to me. So he, I can't tell that this fucking guy, they were put by Richie, they went to Richie. The 911 got a car. Here they come to see Eric Allen. <laughs> 911 so fucking scared. He then comes to fucking and bring six feet to kick Eric Allen's ass. He then park underneath the, the light down here like everybody else did. He then come over here and park his ass over here, talking about come on outside, you fucking ugly motherfucking black motherfucking doctor love. I can kick your motherfucking ass, no, he should not do that. I guess, I guess the Puerto Ricans are in the kids' say no. No, I say that's so stupid, though. You know, that's a, that's a one-to-one, probably my, 
Amen. E vive en la casa solo. No te des, te pone jail. Ok, you won't get no bail, no probation, no nothing. You go to jail. Ok, you get up in the morning, you got a shit shower, and you want to, and you might be in the, in the jail cell with a, with a black man, like the Bolano, that you're going to kick his ass. He might be in the cell. And every time the black guy takes a shit, you say, damn, man, why don't you flush that goddamn food, that shit? You stink. And one of them, whatever, say, you shut the fuck up. You don't like it? As, as the war, and the, the war gets to another motherfucking shell. So, shit. Mm -hmm. Like that, And then one of them say, hey, uh, come and think about it. Your shit don't smell like fucking roses. And, and then shit don't smell like Gloria beans and, and rice and, and pot belly. <laughs> you don't get that silly shell. <laughs> He got you there, Squiggy. You know, a lot of us, I'll do that right quick. This is where I'm at, man. See, see your manhood? Richie stole it. <laughs> Through a speaker, day in and day out. Because we thought you were going to bully that up, fucker. Had no idea who this man is. That's, that's the problem. I would have that Puerto Rican right down there in the motherfucking court. Don't have to go. I don't have to go to, I don't have to, go to court. I would like to be there to see the smile on his motherfucking face when he approached that motherfucking judge for how he got that made threats to the goddamn man in Brooklyn that he'll kill me and he'll do this. And I got everything on fucking Watergate now. I'm playing back with my lawyer. He's coming. And this, <laughs> this guy guy, my one more so Lord have mercy. If he can put out his fucking apartment and go to jail, he better have some goddamn family member to put that phone out on that like goddamn patio and the computer and uh, the, the iPhone <laughs> and the click clacks that he got over there and his cell phone and his motherfucking FIFA and his motherfucking pager. <laughs> All the shit that he had when he got out there was 13 going up coming out of school. A uh, home made in the motherfucking junk drawer. He better have a wife or somebody because the kids, they see the kids, he goes to got that, got that eight year fucking pit, the kid goes go up in the drill. Oh man, look at the daddy got me. What is this here? The kids, let me go online and see what this is saying. Pager, no longer access, no longer in service. <laughs> the owner is doing a, a 15 year bid for murder. Black man. You see the cops kill that black guy? <laughs> black man killed black man. Cops killed me. They caught this shit and they did that black boy bad. Okay, on down to the EMT. The that man, that the EMT with ambulance and shit like that. They all gonna, they all gonna get charges. They all gonna get fucking charges, man. You don't do no shit. That, 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 that portion what they did to fucking Rodney King. That is some foul fucking shit. See, that's, that's it. That's what this guy, this guy want to do to Dr. Love, CK, and that 911. They want to kick Dr. Love's ass like that. Like the, like the one that don't speak the black guy. Kick those spray, the spray, the pepper spray. And they want to do that to Eric. <laughs> but they can't get it. They, they can't get the job done. <laughs> they ain't gonna fucking never get the job done. All they're gonna do is be fucking mouth. Mouth for fucking mighty. <laughs> and how stupid fucking 911 is. And speaking how fucking dumb they is. Not knowing that they got the yellow pages back in the day. You can go up there and, and you might find some guy named Eric Allen phone number in the fucking yellow pages. Or go to Facebook, YouTube, computer, <laughs> and type in Eric Allen, 
life of Brooklyn, New York. 68 year old man in Brooklyn. It would pop up. It would give you all the motherfucking information that you want. But this motherfucking CK is, he talks a lot out of his motherfucking ass and mouth. But I don't think he's that fucking bright. I mean, he's smart, so he's well educated. He comes with good games, so that's why he's brown hearted like him. He's brown hearted, sucker up to him, his pistol and everything like that. Then this watch fit. Tell him all about his family, all we got back home, and this and that. Charlie Shaft will come out here and brag about his wife, brag about his kids, and what he got. Brown hearted Charlie Shaft don't do that. But this guy, this guy, give him all the fucking information, his first name, his last name. And this is where it takes place at. This fucking CK is going on computer and find out all the information about this black colored guy. A brown horny. I forgot his name. I ain't going to say his name. Don't get his all the information. The brown horny don't think like that. Nah, this guy, I like this guy. Uh, you're like Goose that says Puerto Rican. I'm um, CK. I, 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 he talks good. And I like that. He talks well educated. And he, he, he down, down. He changed. He changed coasters and, and changed the grains of fucking with that guy, that Spanish guy. So I listen to his brown horn and tell that motherfucker everything. I said, look at this. I don't go back and tell brown horn it. I let him be. I let him be. Let him be how smart he is. How, how got that right he is to give out this guy's information to this fucking guy, that Spanish guy. Okay? So the Spanish guy, he brags. Nobody give a fuck about what he got. I know I don't. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, I think I'm blessed. Man, when I die, man, uh, my, my people left me this. Um, I, 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 I own a store. Um, I, I, I own a store. My, 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 my daddy's got it in the his mother. So my mother got a, a property. My mother got a house. And if somebody need to give a fuck about what the fuck he got, he's bragging. He bragging. Nobody worry about that. They worry about kicking his motherfucking monkey ass. But he don't got no still fucking got no skin. He don't know what to fucking do. So he went to go fuck with the white man. Now the white man, if the white man were to call the cops and say, I'm going to make a citizen arrest. They come to kill me. The white man ain't worried about none of that. I don't know what white powers are, but let me tell you my white power. And I'm not even for white. I am the most powerfulest cop, police officer on United States soil. The United States Attorney General is not even allowed to issue me any order. White cracker, you're a cop and you don't know the fucking police are down the block on Utica Avenue, you dumb motherfucker. You sorry ass son of a bitch. I curse him out. So... So CK cursed me now, now. Uh, uh, this guy, the white guy, gave him all information about Dr. Love, the white boy, Randall. He, he, he came back to, he came back to hurt the white boy. Talking about Dr. Love apartment and, and going back and taking pictures and giving it to CK and, and hurt him. Two months later, the man up the bus said, I'm going to take care of you. You fuck with my man, Eric Allen, the old man, the sweetest citizen. I'm going to take care of you, you honkhead. You watch and see, honkhead boy. So, he had, he had a flagel. The, the house, the, the apartment caught on fire. See, he never said nothing about it. Nah, nah, he's talking about the nigga man. He just said nothing about the white man. That motherfucker, the house caught on fucking fire. I don't know how the house caught a fire. It could have been some one of those ladies charging the battery or something. They caught fire. Maybe you got them try to run something into that next city of the projects and don't have the right courage to run what he want to run and hook it up. And it caught fire. Fredo, Fredo! And run it. Gary and everything. Run what he want. I know a lot of stat and that's a magic got there, but Spanish guy like CK, maybe 911. And the guy up there with the Mohegan hair cut bad boy might have a CP up there by Katsa that is now no longer there because they caught Frey going by Katsa. <laughs> you know, yeah, these motherfuckers got there talking about that motherfucker white cat. But me, I'm going to talk about him. Because he afraid of my privacy. 
I know it's a guy, but he ain't playing with my motherfucking fighters here. That's, that's that jewelry shit, man. I'm going to let you motherfucker have it. We're coming around and goes the fuck back a wreck on the kid. <laughs> now that I'm on the he's on the floor, he's on the outside looking in. Yeah. As, as this guy, though, uh, you might call this guy the, the chief, the Jamaican guy in East New York. I said, where's the uh, widow? Uh, uh, I don't know how the earth is. So I asked the white guy over here, the karate expert, the karate kid that breaks bricks, this stuff from the guy called uh, Birdman, Larry the Birdman. I don't know. I, I didn't hear from him. Uh, he must be changed his number, Dr. Long. I ain't having the earth red up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone that knows that he ain't from the earth um, what do you call him, um, Yeah, what do you call this stuff again? The same name as that colored guy that got killed. Uh, man, I can't even see, look at that, I can't even think the name. The same name as that colored guy, and he talks in the CB. And yeah, he goes visit him every now and then. Uh, see, I don't even got nothing to, to do, I ain't got to call him and, and find out nothing. I, I don't know, I'm trying to get information out here, information, and I know information. I'm not calling that damn fucking guy. I got my radio on and I'm satisfied. The money, see, this guy, and this fucking Puerto Rican, this CK guy, see, he talks shit. He didn't care I'm a plum, I'm this and that, I'm a plum, I'm like Richie. I, I don't pay the motherfucking Puerto Rican no fucking mind. So what, what, is, what is it to you, CK, if I'm a fucking plum? What is it to you, a high rock, my guy, no single safety? Okay? I don't live with my mommy. My mother's dead, you motherfucker. Mother dead, my aunt dead, my sister. All those other people dead. So they want a motherfucking sleepy. I'm, a, I'm the one man mother brought an army up in this motherfucker. So I, I let him talk and, and that out here, here. So they ain't gonna you talk about I'll tell you, you can do anything you fucking want to do, CK. I don't want to give a fuck. You call and want to call my house. You want to come over to Dr. Love's house. You want to talk to Eric Allen and face to face. For what reason? I have no fucking idea. Or maybe you want to come in and see that stuff like a I got that mind one one said I got on my, I will on my ass, black ass. <laughs> now, I don't know where this guy mind one one get that I have a diaper. But somewhere down in the motherfucking family, down in his family that has his last name, that is his last name. I'm talking about in that project building that he's living on his floor upstairs. Might wear a diaper. Or maybe somebody, the wife, maybe she's a home attendant. Uh, or maybe the kid is a home attendant. Uh, where he gets his information from. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't get it from Dr. Mr. Eric Allen. They never been to Eric Allen's house. His wife, his girlfriend never been to Eric Allen's house. Because this got man girls and this got man, this one of those man girls in that damn house with this 911 been to my house. Uh, they would have said, hey, hey, mm, Moreno. They would have said, they, they, they speak English. They, they, they ain't that Spanish stuff when they come to my, my house and they ain't got nothing home with them. Only time they're going to say something when they see the CD. They say, hey, Mr. Allen, Mr. Allen, Mr. Allen. You talk CB? Yeah, I got CB. I talk CB. What channel? Oh, um, from 1 to 40. He said, my, 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 my boyfriend. My boyfriend. My, my, my boyfriend. Not, yeah, that, that means his wife. If he's married, his wife, he would say that. My boyfriend talks CB. He said, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if, if I miss, though? You lose your boyfriend. Go to the job.
What do you want? Now you gotta give me back. You must pay me back. Okay, I don't know how, but you gonna pay me. You gotta pay him back. <laughs> I can see this goddamn big mouth 911 lock the fuck up. Calling goddamn, call, calling this pirate. For fucking fill some packets in the boxes and shit like that. Now the other guy was, <laughs> every guy was too fucking smart for fucking stupid shit like that. Oh, I gotta let him take it. Oh, I gotta tell him, come to jail. You come over here and try to kick my motherfucking door down and I open that motherfucker up. I'm gonna let you fucking have it. <laughs> You're gonna be like motherfucking wicked witch of fire ran to the motherfucking gas station. That was rolls an asshole. If you run down that damn stairs, cause you ain't got time for the elevator. <laughs> Somebody can see it. You come down outside and they be a woman from another motherfucker out there and say, I better get my phone. They just be like wrong kind of people. I get my phone. What happened, Poppy? Your crack pipe broke up, blow up, and like, got it? That means your crack pipe blew up in your face. <laughs> That's the way they feel slow kick in that blessed. I'll tell you for what. This 911 don't fucking know. Yeah, see, I can go right on this. I already texted that to him on the YouTube channel. Um, a video that I wanted him to see that I post up on YouTube. I wanted his 911 to see it. And I see you get a laughter. So if you got my one nine four one, I got I got him in my mother and fucking follow my hand like the whole wide world. That fucking 911. I could text him his that man's first name, his last name, and his address. I could text it to him. I, I, I love that. Text it to him or send him an email. Uh, I, yeah, I could send him a text. I could send him a text. I could send him uh, a text. Yeah, to the computer. Text. I could email him too. I could e email him through Yahoo. Send him that message or whatever he's got on that guy name. You Yahoo channel. Shit like that. If he, if he, if he pays attention and answer it. And everything like that. And the motherfucker there, his eyes roll behind his motherfucking head. He said, look at this motherfucker. So that's why he ain't been out here fucking with me. So he probably know that I got this information on it. But CK, you'll get it. No, not CK. Uh-huh, uh -huh. He would never have told all the guy with his first name. And all his ass is a witch. See, you know all about me. What is your first name and your last name? I don't know. No, 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 no. I didn't say to my grave. I did not say to Papi, I said two. Only two VJ. Papi. And your father to know the VJ, your father has so. But where? What PJ, what apartment to VJ, Papi? And he's not gonna tell me. No, uh, he's not gonna tell me. But he knows every gallon. No, oh, yes indeed, he knows everything. And motherfucker to tell you that if I got got me skin moss in my motherfucking underwear by one one. CK could tell you about that goddamn shit. Yeah, what you call it now? That shit that rather toilet. It looked look like it looked sometimes it looked like wash. You know, like that. And my toilet was like that, CK could tell you. Yeah, 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 you got to ring around the toilet, Eric. You're too fucking old, you can't scare more like I move. You you get your ass and clean that bad bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your face say, bitch. That was your fucking mind say, bitch. Look at the videos I got up there, see how I got there move around this motherfucking place right here. You be a fucking maid. Hey, look at this, it's Dr. Love. You're a motherfucker, real bad. Dr. Love, I know a lot of motherfucking people, man. This is you move, man. Man, you move. Let me just say, Dr. Love, not a hard way, Dr. Love. And look at the kids talking about the... Um, white boy told me too. Just say like that, Dr. Love. Man, Dr. Love, you're amazing, man. I like that, man. I got nothing against you, but you got damn good. That's what I put in the chair, I'm like that on the outside, too, man. I get around. I got that bridge right here in Manhattan. The Lancy Street. With no motherfucking problem, you walk back. I don't know nine one one fucking listeners. Right now, at the age I am, 60 fucking nine years old, 
I get around just like that, 911. Don't let nobody fool you with any bullshit about my black ugly ass. Okay, now I gotta get my weight back. I had lost it before and I got it right back. I'm gonna build myself back up. I don't know why my stomach virus or what's going on, but I, I got to get my shit together and everything. Like, I don't do push-ups and everything like that. I can see this big-ass motherfucking 911. I can just imagine sitting by the computer, talking, talking, skip. Now, now, see, it ain't going to happen to this guy, this Spanish guy that drives his truck, go to work every goddamn day. It ain't going to happen to him. Cause he's cool, we got air conditioning. But you, you sit up there by the computer and the CV all day, you got the big fucking goddamn four pill going, it's hot like a motherfucker, you got the fucking air conditioning on, and you're sweating. But you're not gonna sit there with an undershirt and a shirt and goddamn some goddamn Joe that that fucking jeans on your ass and your sneakers on because you're gonna cross fire because you got nothing active. Your mouth is moving. Your head is moving, your body is moving. You're active. You're going to destroy sweat. So you get to fucking sweating and you got to take off your shirt. And there's only nobody in the house but you and the kid and the wife. You, you can take off your shirt. No matter, ain't no, no one up there to look at your body to see if you got stretch marks or you got to see you in your ear tummy. You ain't got to worry about that shit. <laughs> And, and, and the beat goes on. <laughs> yeah, boy, I tell you, boy. And I just sit back here and, and I just go to that stuff looking 911 YouTube channel. You don't find much about CK because he, he, he's just scared. Deep down in his motherfucking heart, that fat is motherfucking CK. He's scared of a motherfucker. Boy, when John Shaft wanted to fucking pack, pack in his ass, that motherfucker cried. And then 911 killed come on, man. Well, let's keep your CP, man. Ain't nobody wanna go to jail for no CP. You do all right, fucking bad boy. Ain't nobody wanna go to jail for CP. But y'all motherfucking people come out here and barking like y'all. Yo, bad girl wasn't singing none of them tunes till he came to the sidewalk the first time. Right after they got to see Richie and deal with him one time. Yo, that whole fucking flip mode changed, man. They told, turned into clowns, thought they were clowning me. They don't understand how that was perceived. Well, half of them don't know what the word perception means anyway. And everything like that. You know, you know, when you get shot in Brooklyn and Bronx, they say, well, they're searching for the, the, the shooter. Yeah, they're looking for the motherfucker. When they're catching, when all they get catching, the they're going to get them is they get a motherfucking snitch. They get a snitch, somebody that snitches, then they, 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 they tell them, I'm not a snitch, I ain't telling shit. I seen the motherfucker want to kill my black ass right in the project. Motherfucker sitting right in the motherfucker park. Hey, got his gun, and he said I blew out his PC monitor. He's right in the motherfucker park. I don't know this stupid black motherfucker. You got kids, man, look. So we took your ass back up there and forget about that hundred dollar monitor and get your new fucking monitor, okay? So you take my motherfucking life, you're gonna be suffering in the jail and say, they say, you did what? A hundred dollar fucking monitor? You kill a black guy and that little old man? Like that. So look at all the guys that came by here, Spanish guys that come by here. Poochie came by with her boyfriend. Oh, uh, cause this, no, not colors, this other Spanish guy. Shorty 140 and, 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 uh, uh, man, I forget that damn movie. That's the name of the girl. They came by here to get Eric Allen. And they, and they stood downstairs. And they think that I'm coming down for dinner. They think, they think, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. They think I'm going back to old school or I'll be your mother. I'm gonna get your slump up and yeah, you wait. See if I get there, it'll be my last dinner. <laughs> you kid right your ass right there, you fucking wait. Let's see if I'm coming down. How about you coming out Cleaver? <laughs> they kick the elevator, eight floors. Bring up my Cleaver. I crack, crack the door with that chain on it. I hear a motherfucker come off the elevator making a whole kind of noise. I pop that door open. Before you cross that motherfucking line, 
the song of all the Jesus, your ass is going to be mine. That's what I do to that fucking Spanish guy, 911. Believe me, everybody, I'm not sure they're lying. The 911 will ever force me in any goddamn matter of a motherfucking way. I'm going to handle my motherfucking business. And if he whip my ass, I'm going to take that ass with me and go to that man and take my ass to what all hospital and let me go the next day or whatever, whatever reason he put on my black ass. <laughs> and then I'm going to make a citizen arrest that he fucked me up. I caught an asthma attack. He was here. I'm going to be a detective. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I got to cry to make that's your boy, that's your boy. Hey, hey your boy. I just got He ain't a kid in a fucking hour yet. Well, he's gonna be there so there's no commercial break there, that one. He must be taking one, two, seven, please. I never went on a one hour key up. But notice, Mikey, oh, you wouldn't notice, but notice, Mikey, he's spitting lyrics that you weren't out here to hear. <laughs> the man in command in full control. King of New York. Oh, okay. I knew somebody was out there came with that road, but I couldn't hear him. But pick a truck if you can hear me. Good morning, pick a truck, Mr. Bird. Bye, bye, bye. Right back. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That road near me got the damn thing there. <laughs>
you remember grandma, you said with grandma with well you goddamn should just put in an application for your own goddamn apartment. Your grandma can take care of herself. Let grandma take care of herself. Move your ass and go down and put out an application for your own apartment. But see grandma not her own, I don't give a shit she she maybe sixty, whatever. She can, she can get a home, if you get a boyfriend, she get a home place, yes sir. Well, I'm not going to get a boyfriend, she go down to the, when they get breakfast, they get free breakfast, or maybe lunch down at the, the, the community center, or maybe go bingo, me, bingo. Do you want right? Yeah, yeah, bingo, bingo, see, see. Yeah, bingo, need a boyfriend down at bingo, and, and pull up to her phone book. They say, ah, make this stuff, oh, uh, um, where you go, let's do it to be there. Uh, right around, uh, right, uh, by, by job. Oh my job, I'm here, this is my job for me. Oh, okay, dad. Okay, okay. Man, you know, you ain't so long. Well, I don't get by, so I always do it, you know, my mate. Well, me, 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 I'm still on Bambino, there is it. But I'm all grown, they can't go Bambino. All my kids, I got grandkids. And I like myself. I get mad with this guy. And the brother with the wife. The woman that is going fucking 911. The grandma, I think, she probably said, oh, God. All right, please. He took you all, he took you all friends on the project. The ones that go to dinner and meet us down at the thing or or maybe the social the center. They said, I'll be glad when my I'll be glad when my grandson moves move, move around the Gaza. Every day with the cardio, talking loud, and I'm trying to sleep and watch this in movie, my movie, and hey, oh, yeah, cursing the one animal out on the, on the stadio, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be glad he moves. They get the old cut sign on the kitchen on the apartment, you mean? <laughs> grandma can take care of herself, because that man, they got home attendants out there who take care of grandma. Treat her just like they treat their mommy. That's right. Dress them up, clothe them up, wash their culito under their arm and their desktop, put them in the shower, and take care of them they get them with their woman. They don't need no grown man in, in a cop shop. Grown ass fucking man in his motherfucking 40s. Grandma can't even watch your goddamn foxies in. You know? They said, uh, don't want to go to the laundry. Grandma uh, couldn't make it up stand on the elevator in time. Grandma pee pee in my foxy. And the grandma said, I'm going to take a shower. And I'm going to watch my cool week go. They don't need to give me foxies. Oh, we get that shit. We'll get my foxies and watch my foxies. Oh. Uh, I can't do that too shot low phone. Hey, for that, my grandson live with me. I can't watch my panties. My fucking grandson might look at my panties and say, I ain't look at my grandma and they got well, I made panties. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Six shots, nine, one, one. Six with my grandma. And trim my chin and see her bra around, see her finger up. Uh, uh, what you call them, the nightgown out on the, in the bathroom no more because the grandson is there. Because <laughs> you go down, now it's back in the day, they, 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 um, Friday, they, 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 they separate the, the, the laundry mat. When you go to the laundry mat down in the basement, or something on the side. Not, not, not now. Hell, I'm picking. My, my, my brother don't got no goddamn washing machine down there, and I'm not buying one. I'm going to take my black ass to the washing machine, wash my laundry. What's the matter with this fucking guy here? Say, when he died, <laughs> take all that stuff with him. So don't leave your grandmother and say, take it, hey, hey, go ahead, take it, take everything. Maybe he move upstairs, he move upstairs and say, Get out of there, everything, my grandma. Come here, grandson. And tear everything. <laughs> now, grandma got an empty room back there. And she said, Yeah, I had that food now. Now, now I can have my grandkids come over. And he, his, his daughter, his, his, his kids, his grandkids. They, 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 they get 13. They say, I will. And they tell grandmommy, Mommy, 
And look at this motherfucking nine one one. How he carry all that fucking fat on his fucking body. And it's fat. This is fat. This is not just a fat. You he, he move and you catch this motherfucker on the and if you're out there jogging, he's in a sweatsuit. You gotta put him in something where you can see that stuff with that fat move around, that that blast, that stuff, that that the skin ain't tight. You get older, that motherfucker skin starts to loosen up and everything like that. And then when you get in the guy that's 63, as far as you get 69 years old. Now most women, I don't know about men, most women have stretch marks. So I wouldn't really think that now I want to get all this Dr. Love and start to have his stretch marks and uh, uh, what it was wrong. And uh, I gotta take my insulin. He's a diabetic now, he gotta take his insulin. He, he can't eat everything like the one that was Dr. Love. He can't eat everything. He's on a special fucking diet because he's a fucking diabetic. And, and he can't let fuck around. He have a goddamn seizure up there, like he having a seizure, start to get in the shape. Uh, and grandma might have to put something in his mouth so he won't bite his motherfucking tongue. They call him in that. Hello, hello. Where's the where? Where? Hello, hello. Where, where's the where? 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 My, my, my grandson is having a strict, a strict seizure. He, he's a diabetic. Okay, we're going to send somebody right away, Mr. Martinez. We'll be right there. We'll send somebody. Let's take it easy. Put a, put a spoon on tongue depressor in your, in your son, grandson's mouth. He won't bite his tongue. <laughs> now he's all fucked up. Not, not on the counter now. And this what he got for diabetic, he can eat it, he's just having a little, not an asthmatic. Uh-uh-uh. Ain't no goddamn asthmatic. They cut his fucking leg off. They cut the motherfucking sugar that ran down to his knees, ran down to his motherfucking ankles. And you don't want to get it, you don't want to get a, a blood clot. It's not the blood clot, ain't the word. You know, it's, it's, a, it's another word, which is gang, gangrene. You don't want to get gangrene. So they cut the motherfucker right there with the knee of that. And they tell you, he said, hello. His business is 911 name is um, uh, Julio. Hey, Julio, we're going to have to cut you right there, okay? You, you got cancer right here. And if we don't want it to spread. We're going to have to cut it off right there at the knee. And we're going to give you a special day to come. come. We're going to have to cut right there. Oh, no. Well, we want to live. Well, I think if you want to live, you're going to cut it off. Cut it off. Not every gallon. No damn man Spanish, white dog, or black dog. You're going to say every gallon. We're going to have to cut your damn knee or the leg off because you got to have them up. No, no, fucking no. Not me, but that damn man one was He was all fucked up. Can you see him down there doing a motherfucking willy? Coming out the process off the elevator? Cause he's in a fucking wheelchair? By the other gallon. He got no walking, got no carrying. He, he, but he got this thing. And my red boy. And my one was I got this thing. They, I don't know where the fuck they at. They might be in a drawer, they don't fit. <laughs> I try to put them in with my goddamn gorilla glue. And then she's in the hole. He fell back out. So I said, fuck it. I just, I just been fucking grumpy for a fucking year. Up to the president could raise, raise my check. <laughs> I get some more attention. Could you imagine this fucking mind one once? And could I really get him? God was gonna get that fucking mind one once for fucking with Eric Allen. Him and that damn CK. And big motherfuckers too, they big! They don't got the Medicaid, they don't got the Medicare, the right health insurance, right? where they could get an electric wheelchair like Eric Allen got. Not that we strip a crippled bitch, we want that motherfucker. It's sitting in the little room. <laughs> so they're going to have to get a special size wheelchair, uh, a motorized chair, and you can't leave it charged up overnight. 
Hasn't even had a flick on the console like the white boy did. He's gonna measure this motherfucker Spanish guy, bad boy, not, not too bad boy, 911. They gotta measure his ass when they cook on that pill from the hospital. Yeah, okay, we're gonna, get, we're gonna get you a wheelchair, Mr. Uh, Julio. And we're gonna measure your, your cool off. We're gonna measure your cool aid with cool off. We're gonna do you know, from the side to side, from the bottom to the top. And then we're gonna measure your turn around, your cool eat on the chair. And the cool eat will fit right in there, in the, in the pocket. <laughs>
You a dish me. Say, ah, you motherfucker, ugly motherfucker. You fucking nigga. You ain't got nothing but a fucking Obama phone. You ain't your motherfucking mind, you fucking bitch. I got a motherfucking Obama phone. I put that quick in a fucking Obama phone. I would get it. But they won't let me motherfucker have it. Put that in your motherfucking pipe for smoking my one one. Go look it up on that man. Go, 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 he could have bought a tool for that nigga, son. $200, I would have that damn tool. The three motherfucking months, I would have that motherfucking tool. And shit like that. You got a nice box over there. But then you don't have to fucking pull your shit up. By a woman. Adam, you can add Mr. Dickens, 
And you can ask the guy that, that's the wrestler, the guy that's Don King, you can ask him. You can ask all sharpers, you can ask all the black people with power that you're a low-income motherfucker living in this motherfucking micro fucking house. They will say, Eric Allen, you're right. Don't let them fool you, Eric Allen. He's a low-income motherfucker like you. He live in a fucking project. But he ain't got no ground show, he ain't got a house, he live in a project, he living on the low income. He pay a low rent. That's what I'm gonna lay out of every hour so you think the Spanish guy is paid off fifteen hundred dollars a a month for rent, living in a four room uh, apartment in the project. No, oh, Eric, 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 Eric. Come on, don't play retarded now. The Spanish guy don't pay no eight hundred dollars for living in this nitro housing rent, Eric. If anything, he probably lived with his mama or his grandma or his kids paying the rent. Section, maybe Section A rent. But he's not paying it out of his pocket. Maybe it's wrong. What is it? What is it? Eric, 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 what is it? Maybe the rent's not in his, at least not in his name, Eric. Oh, Mr. Eric Allen, yeah, Mr. Eric Allen. No, no, not Eric Allen. Eric, Eric Allen, not Allen. I'm Eric. Not Eric. Okay. I thought you had to say the name I had. Black man, the black man. Yeah, Eric Allen. 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 Not paying eight hundred dollars to live in the project. And uh man, well, well, I really I really truly don't believe that 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 the set up apartment that you live in the least of your name. The least might be in in in, in, in the kid's name, maybe your wife, if you're your wife, you know, maybe your wife or your girlfriend, at least might be in her name. Maybe the mother, maybe the mother died and um, she was old enough to maintain that apartment that they didn't throw her out because she was old enough to maintain that apartment. But then she fell in love with a, a Spanish guy like you and said, hey, you know what I'm saying, man, for me, I can't. Well, you already knew because you went to school with her, said, well, how do you doing? Uh, so, you know, I know my mommy, if she lived in one project, you live in another. Say, yeah, that's good. And you still go with that guy, Carlos? No, me and Carlos don't know go to jail no more. Carlos is locked up in jail and he shot somebody. Oh, wow. Well, then it's just like that. And the guy's like, do you? Do you know what he is? Oh, me and it's all wrong. I'll come back and see you in that. See, see. See ya. Okay. So give me a number, baby. Give me a number, baby. Give me a number, baby. Yeah. And I can't be in my own right now. Give her a call, give her a call. She's gonna give her a call, the Spanish girl. I'm really the problem is ours now. Hello! Hey, 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 you know, that lonely. You won't do this solo. You can do it. 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 Okay, baby. Talk all sweet like he's Marshall, man. Okay, baby. Motherfucker. Now he's now he's probably gonna get some food. He's gonna get some turkey. He's gonna go up there and try to squeeze in, squeeze in on the girl. Get his goddamn beard again. Get his get his beard again. It's the best side. Hey, uh, go get a couple of motherfucking eight balls. Knowing that she don't smoke and no fool mouth. Uh, uh, she don't let him know. Nah, I don't know fool mouth. Uh, 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 let's look at this, I'm a no 
Pull control. 